For today's video, I googled the best morning and night routines for teenagers, and I decided to try them. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and let's get started. I can't help myself when you're not All right, so like I already said, I did some research, mainly being on Google, and this is based off of a lot of different sources that I found. Some of them are from actual professionals, and some of them are like more for the aesthetics, if you know what I mean. But through all the sources, I found some similar patterns and decided to combine all of the different routines from the different sources into one main morning and night routine. I'm going to be trying those out for you guys in today's video. I'm really excited for you guys to see this video, and let's see how this goes. I did want to say one thing please remember anything that anyone says or anything you see online aren't always accurate just because everyone is different so whatever you see me do in this video it does not mean that you have to do it and I just wanted to make that clear just so people don't think that their routine is like wrong or anything I just wanted to try out what the professionals said would be best for a teen and I'm 15 so I'm you know I'm right there I'm really only doing this video for fun and if you guys want to see my real morning and night routine that's more updated definitely let me know in the comments and I will make that video for you guys okay so I'm gonna be starting with my night routine for this video because there are some certain things that I have to do at the nighttime that affect my morning routine so we're gonna start with the night routine it's currently around 8 p.m. and this is usually when I start my normal night routine and none of the websites had like specific times that I needed to follow I'm just gonna start the night routine now okay so just to give you guys an overview of like everything that I have to do for this night routine first I have to take off my makeup up and shower then I do my skincare brush my hair brush my teeth and then I get my school bag ready for tomorrow after that I have to check the weather and prepare an outfit for tomorrow then I have to create a to-do list for tomorrow so like just things that I want to get done and then when I'm ready to like go to bed I have to leave my blinds at least somewhat open so that the sunlight can get in in the morning and help me wake up I also have to make sure that all of my devices are charging and I just have to make sure to go to bed on time and and by that I mean just going to bed at a reasonable time and I did my research teens are supposed to get at least eight to ten hours every night on like school nights I know a lot of us teens can relate to not getting those hours for this night routine I do have to do that so I'm gonna try to get to bed by like 9 30 and we'll see how that goes Just so you guys know, I did do my like cleanser in the shower. So if you see me do my skincare and I don't wash my face, it's because I did that in the shower. Okay, so I don't know what it is, but lately I've been wearing like sports tops, like sports bras or like tank tops to bed with just like comfy shorts as my PJs. I don't know why, but they're just like super, super comfortable to me. So that's what I'm wearing. Also, yes, my hair is like all wet, but it dries really fast. So it usually dries before I actually like fall asleep. So that's good. Normally I would put my retainers in now because I just brush my teeth, but they do give me a pretty big lisp. So I'm not going to do that till I actually go to bed, just so you guys don't have to hear me talk with a list but I've done a lot of the things on my little night routine I usually would have my room in like nighttime mode at this point but I do have like a few more things that I want like my actual light to be on for so I'm gonna go ahead and pack my school bag for tomorrow and then make my to-do list for tomorrow okay so this is my school bag and at my school we have block days so basically I have half my classes on one day and half on the next I had all my odd periods today so I only need to bring stuff for my even periods tomorrow so I'm gonna take out everything that I had today and I actually like even period days better than odd just because I don't have a lot to carry I literally only have to have this half inch binder and that's because I have honors biology and honors English one and then PE and PE I don't need anything but the other two I have them both in this binder just because most of the papers in here are for biology and English we do basically everything on our computers and we're doing a lot of like writing this week so I really only need this binder which is really 
nice. My bag is ready. That's all I need to pack. I pack the rest of my stuff in the morning, but that's like my lunch, my water bottle, and like all my tech that I need. And then these are the notebooks that I have to bring on my odd days, and these are a little hefty, so I like when I don't have to bring them. Okay, so my to-do list is very, very short, so that's why I wrote it on this little pad. I only have three things to do. I have to film the morning routine for this video. I have to do some editing, and then I have to post my Q&A video because tomorrow is the day that I want to post it. So that is my to-do list for tomorrow, super simple. The last thing I'm gonna do before I kind of start to wind down is check the weather for tomorrow and then pick out my outfit. So for my school, this week is a spirit week because we're doing Clash of the Classes, where basically the freshmen saw sophomores, juniors, and seniors go against each other in like mini games kind of like there's dress up days, lip sync videos, and just like fun stuff to kind of get up our school spirit and at the end of the week we have an assembly where we kind of like announce the winner. That's this week and tomorrow for freshmen it's denim day where you have to wear like some type of denim which is easy for me because I was planning on wearing jeans anyways so let me check the weather. Okay so tomorrow it says the high is gonna be 70 degrees and sunny so that's really Really nice. Okay, so I think I picked an outfit and it is these plain black jeans with like some rips in it from Princess Polly and then this little baby tee that's also from Princess Polly. It's super cute and I haven't like worn it out. I've only worn it to film a video. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna wear. <laughs> So this is how I have my room basically every night before I go to bed when I'm just kind of hanging out Finishing up what I need to finish for the night such as editing or maybe even I'm just finishing my night routine This is how I usually like to have my room. It's literally so vibey. I don't know. I love it I did want to mention I shut this blind and this blind only because if you guys kind of like see This is where I sleep and then right across from me is that window and then the neighbor's house is right there So through this bottom blind I can can sometimes see their windows. They usually have blinds closed like all the time, day and night, but you never know. And so I just feel more comfortable having it closed at night. But I keep the rest of my blinds open because I like the sun in the morning. And also that's what the routine said to do. The last few steps I have to do for this night routine are to make sure all my devices are charging and then to get to bed on time. And like I said earlier, I was trying to go to bed by 9.30. It's currently 9.21. So we're like kind of on track, kind of not. I'm gonna get the rest of my like devices charging and I think I'll just see you guys in the morning. The next morning, it's currently 6.25. I am in my kitchen down here. My dogs are there, I need to take them out. But I wanted to give you guys a rundown for my morning routine. So the best morning routine for teens consists of waking up on time and not hitting snooze. I did that this morning. I woke up at 6.15 and I got out of bed at like 6.17. Then I just have to spend a few minutes to like wake up in bed, you know, like not rush myself. Then I'm supposed to get a glass of water and make or eat a somewhat healthy breakfast because it's important to start your day with a healthy meal. Then I have to do my skincare, brush my teeth, shower if you do shower in the morning. I personally shower at night so I don't have to do that. Then I get dressed, make my bed, style my hair, put on makeup if you choose to, and then just get out the door on time for school. That's my routine that I'm going to try to follow. I usually leave for school around 7.15 in the morning. I'm going to go take them out to to go use the bathroom and I'll be back to make breakfast.
Okay, so my average breakfast on a school day is just two strawberry Eggo waffles and like vitamins and stuff. And like that's all I eat because I'm not usually that hungry at this time in the morning. So I just wait till like I'm at school and then I'll just start eating like some muffins or something. But since I'm filming this video, I do want to like make it a little healthier like the routine people said. But also I want to make sure like I have enough time to do the rest of my morning routine. So I'm still going to have the strawberry Eggos. But on the side... I'm gonna have some fruit some strawberries sometimes I do snack on fruit though Like if I don't have it for breakfast I'll bring it to school in like a ziploc or something and then I'll eat it in like first period or something Also, I like my egos like just plain like I toast them of course But like I just I don't like butter syrup on them because they have strawberry stuff in them So I just like them as is I do also have to grab my glass of water I forgot to do that before I made my breakfast Okay, so I'm back in my room and this is literally my favorite time in the morning because it's when the sun comes out So you guys can see like some sun rays are peeking through and if I walk in front It's very very sunny So I'm gonna open up this last blind that I had closed and now I'm going to brush my teeth and do my skincare <laughs> Okay, so I actually don't do my like curology skincare in the morning I don't find the need to wash my face and like do all that in the morning So when I do my makeup, I do like just a tiny bit of skincare So when I do my makeup, I'll show you guys what I do now It is time to get dressed and part of a lot of the morning routines was to pick your outfit the night before So that is what I did it's sitting here and I'm gonna go ahead and put that outfit on All right, so I have my outfit on and now I'm going to be doing my makeup routine for the morning So first off off. This is my mirror that I used from urban and it also lights up and like I was mentioning earlier The only skincare I do in the morning is using this after bomb I think that's how you say it, but it's basically just this like moisturizer from Glossier I just got it like a few days ago and I've been using it every day before I do my makeup and my face has been super super smooth and Like soft and I really like it. So that's what I do first then I go in with my eyelash curler and then I do mascara I just use the normal mascara from Glossier I love it. I just got a refill of it. Once I'm done with that I take this clear eyebrow gel also from Glossier and I just run my eyebrows through it Just so they're not like all crazy if I need to I'll take this like stretch concealer in the shade G8 From Glossier and I will put it where I need it for example I'm gonna put some on top of my pimple so that it's not bright red in the middle of my forehead It doesn't obviously like hide it completely, but it helps a little bit lastly I'll go in with this Vaseline lip thing therapy rosy lips stuff it's just like vaseline that's like tinted a little bit olivia got this for my birthday and i really like it so then i just go ahead and apply this and that's the makeup that i do on a daily basis sometimes if i'm feeling fun i'll do like highlighter and stuff but i want to stay pretty natural today so on the morning routine it also says to do your hair and i know some people like to curl their hair straighten their hair my hair in the morning is kind of just i don't know it's just like it's not fully straight but it's not like necessarily way Maybe it's just kind of in between and I don't really care to do my hair every day Like I'll brush through it with my fingers because it's not usually that snarly just to make sure there's like no knots or anything But I usually don't do anything with my hair So the rest of the things that I have to do for this morning routine are to make my bed and then just get out the door on time And it's currently 6 59 a.m. And I leave at 7 15 So I have like 16 minutes and all I really need to do is like put my laptop and airpods in my backpack and then grab my water bottle and my lunch. So let's get those things done and get out the door on time. I honestly don't try that hard on making my bed, but that's the best we're gonna get this morning. Alright guys, so I'm back in my room, but I got my whole backpack packed and 
and I'm ready to go. It's currently 7.12, so we do need to leave soon. That hits every check mark on the to-do list for this morning, and I think that is where I'm going to end today's video. This video was honestly kind of fun to do because I never knew there were certain things that like people thought was best for teens in a way. Like, I don't usually make my bed in the morning, and this video just got me to try some new things, and maybe I'll start incorporating them in my routine. Once again, if you guys want to see my morning and night routines that are more updated, let me know in the comments and I can definitely make that video for you guys. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. If you stayed all the way up to this point in the video, comment this emoji so I know you stayed all the way until the end. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!